Today, Fun with Flowers and Jay is brought to you by Esprit Miami. Their flowers mean business. Welcome to the world of flowers. I'm Jay Schwanke. I've spent my entire life surrounded by flowers. As a fourth generation florist, flowers have been a part of my daily life for as long as I can remember. Now I'm on a mission to share my knowledge and love of flowers with everyone I meet. Growing, picking, arranging, designing, and sharing. It's all fascinating to me because I love flowers. Anything flowers and everything flowers. Welcome to Fun with Flowers and Jay. Today on Fun with Flowers and Jay, we're taking a shortcut with roses for Valentine's Day with beautiful Barcelona roses from Esprit Miami. For this project, we'll be using this wood crate. This is special because my dad made it and it was made from the old greenhouses on our property. It's really smart too, the way that he made it because it conveniently fits a block of foam. So with that, I've cut a piece of cellophane to actually be my liner. We'll put that there and then drop our block of foam in. Then we can just trim up around the outside and then tuck the rest of it in. There we go. My dad's a pretty smart guy and knows that it's convenient to be able to have a block just fit down inside there. Now we'll be cutting our roses short. The great thing about that is that shorter roses last longer. The water doesn't have to travel all the way up the stem. Today we're going to be using a new rose from Esprit called Barcelona. This is a great looking rose. It's got a nice big head, nice long stem. Of course, we're not using the stems today because we're going to keep it shorter. But the thing to remember too about roses is to get that nice, big, beautiful head, it has to stay on the plant longer. So that's why we get the long stem. You can't get big headed roses with really short stems. It just doesn't happen that way. So the long stem comes along with this. We're going to cut them short. And again, now the only thing that has to stay hydrated is the beautiful rose head. We don't have to worry about the stem and we're gonna go right directly into the foam. And we're gonna line them up in rows so that they look nice and even. them both to both sides and we've left an expanse in the middle. You could fill that in with anything. We could do hydrangea down the center. Today we're going to use Hypericum. We've got this beautiful white Hypericum from Esprit and it's going to be perfect in between the two rows of roses. I'm going to let it sit up just a little bit higher than the roses so it creates a great little division in the middle. The final step then will be to wrap ribbon around the outside. I like this great cross weave from Reliant. And bring it around. to the corner. Well, not the ribbon on the corner of the box. It's a really great contrast to the texture of the box itself. And the ribbon looks so great with those Barcelona roses. Just tying it in a shoelace. Off to the side. With our roses, 
short, and in a box like this, we've almost doubled the vase life of the flowers themselves. Simply slip into the side of the box to add water to this. The foam needs to be replenished with water for the roses themselves. And there's all sorts of other alternatives for containers you can use. Obviously, we used one that was made by my dad today, but there's great little metal containers like this, and we've used 12 Vitality roses. The fragrance of these roses is absolutely incredible. It will fill an entire room. Here, we've used this great container too that has three little cans down inside that fit into the crate. This is a dozen and a half of the Freedom Roses with some Hypericum as well. You can see how this great effect of a dozen roses or a dozen and a half for Valentine's Day really sets it off from the long stem dozen. It's a fun way for us to experience roses for this holiday. Until next time, keep having fun with flowers.